Theater owners, no longer contracted to showing only mainstream Hollywood films, realized there was a ready-made movie audience in those teens looking for excitement and innocent titillation. And I came along with Jim Nicholson and Roger Corman and all those others uh, in the 50s. And I realized that there really were no teenage pictures being made. Not that the teenagers wanted. The shrewd Arkoff subscribed to the old Hollywood idiom, if you want to send a message, call Western Union. Thanks to having teenagers in his own house, Arkoff realized they provided a virtually untapped market of entertainment dollars just waiting to be plucked. When we first decided to make the beach party pictures, for example, I looked around for a boy and a girl of teenage age, instead of being 30 or 40 or whatever it was, or Joan Crawford. You, know, you look at Joan Crawford, Jesus Christ, you know, there isn't a teenager that would have gone to bed with her. <laughs> Vincent Price was a terrific human being. A pain in the ass, but a terrific human being. But he was a terrific human being. He was a great cook. He was a great actor. In 1963, the AIP team produced The Raven. Shot in three weeks and using remnants of the stylized sets from the previous Poe films, the film starred Vincent Price, Peter Lorre, Hollywood legend Boris Karloff, and a young Jack Nicholson. Jack Nicholson, he first was in The Raven. Kind of a pretty boy at that time. He's gotten over that. <laughs> 